Let's see if I can get it. Here we are. Oh, one more. Oh, say that ball was in. A lot of players, they lose points when they get pulled out wide because they do exactly what I did right there. Even if I made that ball, I'm ripping the ball down the line. If your opponent can make contact with the ball and get it back, all they're going to do is tap the ball back to the other side of court and you're going to lose the point. Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Universal Rackets, Tennis with Tyler, and today I'm going to save you guys so many points. I'm going to win you guys so many more points by doing one thing. When you get pulled out wide, and when you're back, you're more defensive. Instead of trying to rip the ball down the line like Djokovic, you're going to try to play cross court with height. Once again, whenever you get pulled out wide and back, instead of trying to rip the ball like Djokovic down the line, you are going to send it back cross court and you're going to play with height. What it's going to look like, it's going to look like this, right? When you really get hurt out wide, Instead of trying, even if you make this ball again, even if I make this ball again, what's my opponent going to do? They're just going to hit it right back. Instead, I'm going to play with height, go cross court, and I'm going to be all right. If you play with height and play cross court, you're going to be all right. Remember, the longest distance between two points is diagonal. The shortest distance is what? Is straight ahead. Also, the side of the net straight ahead, the net is even higher. So not only is this a low percentage chance shot, but also it's easier again for your opponent to hit and then be somewhere where you can't recover. So play with height and go cross court every single time you get pulled out wide. The only time that you wanna go down the line, rule of thumb, is when you're inside the court. When you're inside the court, you are more on offense. When you're further back, you're less on defense. So again, what I want you to do is instead of going out this ball, thinking you're no back Djokovic, and ripping that backhand from back behind the baseline, you're going to go out to this ball, and you're going to play with height. You're gonna roll it, you're gonna play with height, and then you're going to get back to the courts. This is going to save you so many more points. Now, I know it's a lot of fun to be like Djokovic. It's a lot of fun to rip the ball like Nadal or Alcaraz now, right? But what is going to happen? You're going to lose a lot of points. Even if you make one, two, three points, you're still going to lose that nine or 10 points. You're not going to have a positive percentage of winning those points. It feels super good, do it in practice, but if you wanna win more matches and win more points and play right, Again, what are you gonna do? If you play with height, you're going to be all right. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this one tactic, please let me know in the comments below. I hope this wins you some more points, it saves you some more points, and you're able to win some more matches. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Instagram, make sure to check out my eBooks link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time on Court.